Hi everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. As you can see, I don't have my makeup on because as you can tell by the title, in this video I'm going to be doing like a get ready with me if you will and like how I do my makeup and how I style my hair with my clipping extensions. I do have a bit of a croaky voice because, not because I've got Covid, I had a test the other day and it was negative, um, but for some reason I have tonsillitis and I've still got tonsillitis. I think it was like Wednesday, um, I woke up with a sore throat and I was like, oh I must have just slept with a dry mouth, <laughs> um, but no, the back of my tonsils have the white spots on but I'm fine, I'm well, it's just a sore throat to me anyway because it's not like hurting if you know what I mean I mean it is on a swallow but I'm not ill but yeah anyway I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and I've also put on my Instagram stories some questions um well for people to ask me questions and I'll basically just start off with them because it gives me something to talk about so let me just find it before we start so someone said what should go to skin products basically my actual go-to skin products i'm just gonna put this up there for now my go-to skin products are the ordinary niacinamide and the bobby brown and rich face base these are literally what i use 24 7 all the time and then i also use like what are they called I've got, i can't do this when i can't because i can put it on here yeah it's just like a little pipette thing and then I'll put in but um I do also use some of the ordinary skincare as well like other stuff like the face masks and stuff what are they called it is a face mask isn't it I literally just rub it in and then I also do like the soap and glory face wash do the blue one with the pink spots in they're like pink beads um, I do really like that as well and it hasn't made my skin go weird like sometimes a lot of my skincare makes my skin might make it break out or I don't know I've got really weird skin but actually it's not too bad at the minute um, and then the Bobbi Brown face base the Feminine Rich face base which comes in this little pot and this I think it smells really good when I first smell it I thought it smelled like a bit like chocolate orange <laughs> probably a bit weird but I'll actually just like mix it into my hands and then rub it all in my face I actually use this as a moisturiser this makes my skin go clear like that's why it looks good now um, compared to the skin that I used to have anyway does anyone else make really weird faces when they're like doing the makeup <laughs> pretty much every girl right but yeah I will literally use this as a moisturiser because I love it that much it is quite expensive though but skincare right ladies um someone has asked what is my dream holiday I actually don't know like I like I have dream holidays but I don't have a dream holiday if that makes sense like I don't really like I would like to go to like, the Bahamas and stuff like that but I won't call it a dream holiday for me I think more like going to New York or yeah um, the foundations I will be using is the Huda Beauty um, I think it's called Pro Filter Full Filter even High Coverage Cream Foundation in the shade Amaretti and then the Ordinary Coverage Foundation in 3.0Y which I think this is quite orangey I literally only use like half a pump of each and it covers my face. I don't need to wear an awful lot of foundation just because my skin doesn't really need it anymore these days. But then I also take the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Canel, I think that's how you'd say it. But basically in April when I did, if I'm looking this way it's because of the mirror, I did a big makeup haul on my channel and I ordered this concealer not this shade um, I ordered the Chantilly the really light one to brighten up my areas and my face and they sent me that shade and I was like well I didn't order that shade and even like I'd sent them this whatever and they just sent me out the correct shade and I got to keep that one so we got our one for free and I just used that like 
if there's anywhere on my face and you get that under my eyes or whatever and then I use my beauty blender to pat it all in but yeah dream holiday yeah I would say New York at the moment anyway maybe when I get older I might have a better one but I would like to go on places like Mexico and you know but I just don't have an interest like I do and I don't like I don't know how to describe it like I would like to go but at the same time I want a house <laughs> but then do you sacrifice a few years waiting to buy a house and go on the holidays that you would miss out on if you had a house it's one of them innit like you don't know do you know where I really actually would like to go where Ellie Darby and Chloe Ado went the Lou Jo is it hotel in Turkey oh my god that looks amazing oh, I kind of really want to go there but it's so expensive it's like two thousand pound like for a week I'm sorry but that's a bit ridiculous if you ask me for a bloody holiday Luckily, when I'm doing my makeup now, I can actually rub it into my hairline because look how much my roots are coming through. Why does my hair grow that quick? Does anybody else have this problem? I know I shouldn't be complaining because it's quite lucky, but it's just like, let me be blonde. <laughs> Next, I take this e.l.f. concealer camo concealer 16 hour one it's in the shade rich chocolate but i literally just use this to contour so look how much comes out of the brush drives me insane because like the lid is just like covered in it because i only use like you know, like the smallest amount to cream contour you know what i mean like I shouldn't complain that the glass bottle is so full but it just there's like a lot that comes out and I'm like can't keep up someone has said how did you gain such a platform I don't know like I just literally posted my outfit pictures and like you start gaining followers like because you tag you what you were wearing like the brands use hashtags um follow accounts that are like similar to yours and like interact with them and then they'll obviously interact back yeah and then like when brands repost your pictures i don't often get that but i'll have like jealous you know, smaller brands they'll always like repost because i get quite a, quite a few bits sent from them but yeah i just blend this in with my beauty blender my voice is actually going really croaky isn't it bloody hell yeah, so earlier this week I did have another COVID test because I did one at work. We had to we had to do um, asymptomatic members of staff had to have a test just for a survey to see how many members of staff were basically had COVID but were had no symptoms. That was negative. And then I also I was messaging my boss Kira at work. And she basically just said, go for a test anyway. Even though I had no symptoms, I had no temperature, I could still taste and smell, and I still can now. <sighs> Thankfully, because imagine not being able to taste chocolate. <laughs> I think not. Um, yeah, I went for a test. Oh, the woman literally shoved it right up my nose, and I was like, bloody hell. Because the other one that we did in work, I, we had to do it ourselves. So... I had to get Kira to shove it down my throat then because I couldn't do it. It's one of them things where it's like when you're doing it yourself, you like stop yourself doing it. Oh, I just couldn't do it. Also ignore how orange my hands are. They don't actually look this orange in person, it's just picking up on camera really bad. But I've been using the Tanologist tan and it's like a clear foam so you can't see where it's going. So just bear with me because I'm trying my hardest to learn how to use it, all right? And then I'm going in with the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Chantilly, the shade that I actually did order. Just because it's a nice, you know, bright shade. I do feel like I use quite a bit of this under my eyes, just to brighten them up, you know. But I also think it's, I don't have much left, I don't think. So I'll have to order a new one soon. 
nice to relax since after Christmas. I've been a bit under the weather. Tonsillitis, I've got like a chap lip there. And it's actually quite sore. I've never had a chap lip in my life. I don't know how I've got it. Maybe it's just a weather change. But someone has asked Holy Grail makeup product. I don't know. I don't really have like a Holy Grail makeup product because I feel like everything brings everything else together, if you know what I mean. If like during the week I don't wear makeup, I'll literally just, uh, do you know what? I'll say my moisturiser. It's not like a makeup product, but, well it says all in one primer and moisturiser, so we'll class it, we'll class it, right? I'd say that just because I don't wear makeup an awful lot. It's either that, I'll say, um, face tan drops. I literally just wear makeup at the weekend, so. Yeah, because when I go to work, there's no point. I used to wear makeup all the time, but now that my skin's cleared up, and I would rather stay in bed asleep than get up and get ready and do my makeup. And not only that, I've saved money on not buying makeup. So I used to spend like 30 to 50 pound a month on makeup because I'd have to always buy my foundation every month. I'd have to always buy concealer every month, powder, bronzer, you know, and it just gets a bit excessive. So I'm pretty thankful that I don't wear it as often. I did also start getting false eyelashes, which made me not wear makeup as often. And then I don't have them anymore because of lockdown, but then I don't think I want them anymore at this current moment in time anyway. I'm quite okay with not having false eyelashes. But yeah, if you hear like a noise that just like that, and I know that it picks up on camera and I never mention it, I have a train track behind my house. So that's what it is. Another question is, what are you looking forward to most this year? Hmm, I actually don't know. Honestly, I don't know, because I feel like I've got, I actually don't know. Because none of us know what has going to happen, happen this year. I can't get my words out then, did you just hear that? <laughs> Um, none of us know what's going to happen this year, so I actually, I don't have an answer for that one. Maybe uploading more on YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, the primer I am just using to set my face is the Makeup Revolution one. I did, I used to have the Laura Mercier one, but I reused it and I haven't bought it since. And then I also was using the Too Faced one. And again, reused it and haven't bought it since, just because I couldn't be bothered. I have gotten a bit lazy with my makeup. I just keep using the same the same items over and over again, which works for me, but you know, I might get a bit boring when everyone is like watching my makeup videos. But yeah, I'll just leave that on for literally a few seconds and then I'll go and wipe it off. So I did wipe my powder off just because I was putting everything away so I could get my other makeup back out. Um, just because I had like no space. But the next thing I use is the Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfecter Liquid. Um, and it's in the shade Champagne Pop. And I'll literally, it, I bought it from TK Maxx and it had no pump on it. So I literally have to like undo it, undo the lid. A bit on my finger. I only need like a tiny bit anyway, so I feel like it'd be easier doing that anyway. Then a pump, and then I'll literally just do this on all my fingers just so I don't put an awful lot of product on, and then put it on my cheeks. This is how I get my glow. Everyone always asks me, like, what do you use like, as a highlighter? And it's basically just this. And then I do obviously put a highlight a little bit with it, but I'll show you that soon. Then I use a big brush and the MAC Give Me Sun Minimalized Skin Finish, which I had it for like a few months and I dropped it on the floor and smashed it off, so that's cool. And then I just tap off the excess without trying to drop the rest. And then just push it on the places that I need it. is will you ever do vlogs I really want to see them basically 
I'm just a chicken. Me and Louisa went to go to Amsterdam in August, but it got cancelled. And I said to him, like, we should make a vlog. And he was like, okay, we can do that. And I was like, right, okay. I just get a bit nervous. Like, if I'm and dad come upstairs, I'll stop filming. I won't carry on speaking because I don't want them to listen to me because I feel like they'll laugh. But I don't know, I've been doing it a year now. I need to just get a grip down there. But basically, I work full time. So I work Monday to Friday. And then on the weekends, all I'm doing is making videos, getting out of pictures, or like going out with Lewis, like spending time with Lewis, or like a friend or something, like Lauren or Jess or whoever. And yeah, I just, I never, I just find it a bit weird to shove it in people's faces who obviously don't do it. And yeah, I just don't do an awful lot that would be entertaining to see because it's not my job. So I have a full time job where I work every day, come home, like I go to work, come home, have my tea, have a wash, get changed, go to bed, get up, go to work, same routine every day. And then on the weekend, where possible, I'll go and spend my free time shopping or, you know, whatever else. Or I'll be getting outfit pictures for Instagram, filming videos. It's like, do people really want to see this? Because do you know, I don't know. I forgot to say, I was using the NARS Laguna bronzer and a contour brush. If you do want to see vlogs, then do let me know. Um, and I can maybe try and make one. <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be much fun, but you know. Then next, I'm using the MAC Highlighter in Soft and Gentle the Mineralized Skin Finish. I did actually get this at Cheshire Oaks, and it was like discounted. I mean, was it discounted? Would you call it discount? I don't know. It wasn't the full price. Anyway, I can't remember how much it was. And I don't really know how much it's meant to be. But yeah, I'll just put that over where I put that glow stuff. On my nails. And next, I use the blush and the Armac pans. And I don't really know the name. Let me see. This one's in Desert Rise, something like that. And then this one is Melba. But yeah, they're just matte pans. And again, I got these from Cheshire Oaks. I've had them quite a while, actually. But I've not even like hit pan or anything that they're literally still brand new. And I use them like every weekend. I was using them every day until I started wearing makeup. But I literally just put it on my cheeks. Like, trick is keep your face like this and then do it because if you smile it's just gonna like do you know like sink back down on your cheeks so that's how I do my blush next is just my eyes and um, we'll get another question shall we away from Instagram if you had to throw an outfit together what would be your go-to that's a good one for my, what am I doing yeah that's right brush for the eyes I literally just put the bronzer like the Nars Laguna bronzer on go-to outfit about Instagram. I don't know, so I feel like all my outfits are do you know, like I've liked on Instagram like the pants I would have seen, do you know what I mean? Probably just leather pants and a jumper. Yeah. Or if it's like summer then probably like cycling shorts or something. Yeah. I'm obsessed with leather pants, I wear them all the time. I don't often wear anything different in winter and I absolutely love when winter gets here and I can just put leather pants on 24 7. You know what I mean? It's just fun, isn't it? I just enjoy them because one, they keep me warm. Two, they look nice. Three, they go with anything. Bodysuit, jumper, top, any coat, any shoe. And then I am just using the Makeup Revolution palette in like the Roxy Makeup Revolution palette and it's in that shade. Right, so for my eyebrows, I've zoomed in a little bit, but you know, just so you can try and see what I'm doing. Basically, I use the Pears soap, put a bit of water on the soap, and then just get your spoolie and like rub it around, if you will, and like make it go like a soapy kind of texture. And then just like get some on your brush and brush it in your brows like so. I found that I 
do have a brow laminating kit because a friend sent me one, or like an eyelash perming kit, you know what I mean? Um, but you can obviously use it for laminating your brows. However, I just find this a lot easier, a lot quicker, a bit better. Just because this, I don't know if anybody else has had this, but when they've had the brows laminated, do they not go curly? And then I'll just push down. Make sure it's all stuck in place. Like so. But yeah, I found that they go curly. But then it is like a permanent solution, so. Like one side went curly. I think it was the side that I slept on the most, but. Yeah, I can never be bothered doing it. I always get fixated on doing something else, you know? Yeah, I just brush my brows up and then press them down. Not too hard because you'll rub all your makeup off, but just enough where they'll obviously stick. And then I use Anastasia Dip Brow in Soft Brown. I've used this, oh my god, forever. I think this is only my second part as well because it lasts so long. I do need another, but I'll probably just wait until I do like a big one. Just because I still do have quite a bit in this, to be fair, that I'll ask me. So I don't use an awful lot. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I'd say if I've come a little bit too dark there, in the middle, I'll just like try and blend it out. And then I will do the other eyebrow. Exactly the same. Yeah, and that is just how I do my eyebrows. I feel like they look really weird. Like, I got too hot because I was filming for too long and it cut out, so I just let it cool down and I went ahead and did my mascara. The mascara I use is the Too Faced Born This Way and the lip products I use is a lip liner, it is the NYX or NYX, whatever you want to call it, a lip pencil in Nude Truffle. The lipstick is MAC in Honey Love. And I also use Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Naked. The lip gloss I do use is ELF in Champagne Glam. And then that's just the finished makeup look. And then I will go ahead and show you how I do my hair. Like put my pony extensions in my ponytail. So I'll go and get the stuff to do this. I have my hair extensions which are the Foxy Locks hair extensions, I have a clip, I have a vacuuming brush and I have hairspray and I have a lot of bubbles but I'll literally just part my hair give it a quick brush out, you know and then I will start sectioning it so you don't want it too you don't want too little I do it about three quarters of the way down, like just behind my ears, because you will get your clip, clip it there, and then for the bottom part, I will use a two, a two clip, give them a quick push out. Then I think you can see it in the mirror actually, so I'll sit like this. Then I'm just going to section a bit from this. I've got out, you know, and then you get your backcombing brush, backcomb it, and then you want to flip your head forward, get the extensions, and instead of putting them in the normal way, you're going to put them in upside down, like this. them back so when you look they are actually upside down because 
you're gonna put your hair in a bubble so you want them to lay flat on your head so when you put your hair in a bubble they're just gonna go up flat then I'll take the next section which is just above my ears and that is roughly just about where I put a bubble I will get the three clip And then obviously section hair again without getting any of the extension in and back home. And put the extension in upside down. from then on you'll just um, put them in the normal way so I'll just get another section of hair get a bit less of the top pin it up and as you can see my stunning roots <laughs> and I'll get another three it would help if I was opening it the right way wouldn't it This time, you're gonna get the section. And put them in the correct way up, like how you would normally do them. Just like normal. And then I will take the two. I like having a thick pony and sometimes I don't so I think that will depend on how many extensions I use so I've still got a four left I won't use the four just because it's a bit too big to hide in a bubble mm. like the clips the clips are they are seamless and um, but like from the side they stick out of it sometimes which isn't always a nice look but I try and hide them as best I can That's a trick well I've got thin hair so they do often like slide about in my head just because I've not got a lot of hair and it's quite soft and you know right so I've got my hair in as you can see in the back and then do I want another one I might do a one putting your hair up but in fact I'll put hairspray on and call me with it and then you'll start sorting your hair out like brushing it how you want it so just brush these parts back like so And obviously just use a back combing brush to smooth it out when you're brushing it back. Keep it all nice and tight. And then you can see the top's still a bit bumpy. So I'll just brush that back too. And then if you do have any clips like sticking out of it, just kind of like mess with your hair and you know, keep putting hairspray wherever you want it. And you, 
literally just have to keep messing with it until you like how it looks. <laughs> And then I will take my brush and just wash it out. Just so it will all blend nicely. And that is how I do my hair. Then let me go and get a grip. But sometimes I'll wrap my hair around the bobble, but not all the time. I started to not do it because it makes the hair go a bit flat and I like it a bit, do you know, like sticking up a bit, a bit puffy. Just be careful where you put your grips on, like for your hair extensions, because obviously you don't want to rip them or break them or anything. Um, but yeah, just like feel you, feel in your head where they are, because you can feel them. Some of them might stick out, some of them might not. Just try and move your hair about and hide them if you can. Like this. Like the best you can anyway. And then just mess with it until it's how you want it. And that is how I do my hair extension ponytail and my makeup since everyone was asking. So yeah, that is everything in today's video of how I do my makeup and my hair, like I just said about five times. And um, but yeah. If there are any other videos you want to see from my channel, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you try this hairstyle, if you do have clipping hair extensions. I did actually curl my natural hair yesterday, so it is still a little bit wavy. But, you know, it blends in alright for me, just because my hair is naturally short. It's like where the waves are wearing my hair, it's where they start in like the extensions, if that makes sense. But yeah, let me know what other videos you want to see from my channel and like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram to see any of my outfit pictures and my hair and my makeup. And yeah, I will see you all again in another video. Bye!